Today we're uh, col collimating the uh, the Star Slayer, the Black Beast. So uh, just remove your dust caps. Put them in a safe and secure locale. I just put the shroud on. I like to make sure there's no um, no ridges. In it, you know, make sure it's nice and tight. If you can. And uh, today we'll be using the the patented all rights reserved Hotec laser collimator. Uh, it's not the one. It's not the the fanciest one with whatever crosshairs. You know, you just wait till the red dot disappears. And so, how you use this is you you hold it by this part right here, the solid part, and you make sure it's loose. You know, like that. Nice and loose. And uh, this thing does not have an on and off switch. And uh, it can convert into a 1.25 inch uh, collimator. So you can collimate your high power. But I, I haven't used that yet. Um, I, I believe you just take, take this out or take that out. I don't know. I think you can collimate this thing too. But, but what I do is... Um, I leave my batteries in here. That's the only way to turn it on and off, take the batteries out. But if you leave them in and you don't don't tighten this all the way, so you, you can see, you'll be able to see the laser will come on as I tighten this. See, I tightened it. Now the laser's on. You know, you loosen it, and it turns off. So I kind of use that as my on and off switch. So now now this is nice and loose. Actually, I don't know what this is. And anyway, so I, I put it in my uh, my two inch focuser here. So I'll just put it in. Uh, again, I'll hold it by this. I'll put it right in there. Make sure this is facing towards the end of the scope. And I'll hold it by this, and then I'll tighten it. Just like this as I hold it. Just tighten in this part. And you let me get it nice and snug. It's, it's starting to tighten up as I turn this. And then I'll get it nice and snug. And so you you do not tighten these locking screws. You leave them loose. This. Okay, and then you can come over here and see kind of where I'm at. Okay, I'm pretty far off. If you want to shine it down in there, I don't know if you can see the red dot. You probably can't see it. But it's, anyway, no, this is not a... Okay, so now i got to adjust my secondary mirror. And with this one, I, I have not installed Bob's knobs on this yet. So I use this, this hex key here, and obviously, you know, man, I wish you could see that dot down there. But when you're collimating, you always adjust your secondary mirror first, and you get the red dot right on the donut down there. Man, I'm really far off tonight. Okay, that's getting, getting there. Can you see that red dot down there? I don't know if you can see it. It's probably too bright out here. This is not the best uh, time to do it. Let's see. It usually just takes a few minutes here. Pretty far off tonight. I think it's because of these strip screws on the upper tube assembly, man. Okay, so we're getting there. Right around the donut. Okay, perfect. Right in the center of the donut. You probably can't see it, but... And then, so I'll put this thing away. And then I'll come to the end of my scope down here. And, uh, okay, good. So you can see it here, shining up right up on the laser up there. So you can see the, the red dot is, is actually in the, uh, you know, it's in the area there. Probably can't even see the red dot there. Can. Probably in the daytime. You know, maybe if I... Yeah, there we go. So it's, so it's in there. It's close. So now you come down here toward the back of your scope. And you got your locking screws here. These are your locking screws. And, and so I'll just unlock one of them. See, now the red dot disappeared already. So maybe if I tighten this one, maybe if I loosen it, it'll come back. Uh, it's hard to do a collimation video in the daytime, probably, because the red dot, you know. 
But one thing that happens when I collimate the scope is uh, if I loosen these, if I loosen these screws too much, then like it'll come off, it'll come off uh, detached from the mirror, you know, and I'll have to pull it, I'll have to pull it back and stuff. A lot of people replace the screws that are in here, but my my red dot is it's getting close, it's getting closer. This one's gonna come off, man, if I don't. So it's getting close. It hasn't totally disappeared yet. Okay, there we go. That's, that's probably. Yep, that's good. That looks like it's good. And again, so so it's done right now. I mean, that's good enough for me. I'm gonna have to recollimate. I mean, it hasn't totally disappeared. I could probably get it perfect, but I don't want to risk, you know, loosening it so much where I have to reattach it. And and you know, as you slew your scope through the night, you're probably gonna have to recollimate. You know, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But but yeah, so that's uh, how how to collimate your scope.